One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Research is being done to find a cure, but until there's a cure, there is treatment, and that treatment can save lives. Here with me this morning is Jennifer Sweeney, a breast cancer survivor uh, from Milwaukee originally, but has called Cincinnati home for the last several years. Good morning to you, Jennifer. Thanks for having me today. Thanks for sharing your story. Let's talk a little bit about it. First, when were you diagnosed? Well, I was diagnosed in August of 2008. Okay. I was uh, 37 years old. So I went through the treatment, um, I um, had surgery, um, chemotherapy, radiation, and I went through reconstruction. So I'm going on now three years cancer free. Well, first off, congratulations. Thank you. That's, let's let's kind of go back here. When did you know that something was wrong? Was it a self-exam? Did you have a, a, your yearly mammogram? I or? actually, uh, because I was under 40, mm -hmm. It's not really, wasn't really recommended to go in for early mammograms. Right. And, but I did actually just feel a lump underneath my arm. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, kind of didn't think anything of it at the time, but it concerned me. And just within a few weeks, I decided to go into the doctor right away and have it checked out. Was there a history in your family? Um, on my father's side, my aunt passed away from breast cancer in her mid-40s. Okay, um, which typically the father's side, correct me if I'm wrong, in the past, <laughs> it was a little more downgraded. It was more on the mother's side, but that's changed a little bit over the years. When I was in my early 30s, I had gone to a doctor visit and just said, you know, that I have this on, in my family, and, mm -hmm. you know, this was 10 years ago. And she said, oh, you don't need to worry so much about the father's side. It's more if it's your mother's side. And I just, um, I just kind of put it out of my mind, and I thought, mm -hmm. well, look, great. That's one thing I don't have to worry about. But um, I kind of encourage people just be very vigilant and be an advocate for your own health. Be, a, be aware and be informed. You know, advocates and support groups are so important. In fact, you have a family, uh, your own family too. You have two uh, small boys, right? I do. I uh, do. How old are they? They're 10 and 12. 10 and 12. And uh, tell me a little bit about that scenario. I know each, each family is different and handles it differently. How did you handle it? Explain to your boys, here's what, mom, here's what mom's going through and here's where we go from here. Well, we just kind of, um, I didn't want to get into too much detail. Right. I didn't want to scare them. I kind mm -hmm. of like to keep them sheltered. Yeah. We always took a positive approach and um, just kind of definitely it's something you can't make fun, but just tried to stay upbeat. And uh, when I started to lose my hair after my first chemo treatment, my husband and my boys cheered me on and my husband um, shaved my hair for oh, me. Yeah. And you know, through the tears, we laughed. Yeah. And um, we knew that it was um, a means to an end and it was mm -hmm. a journey and we were going to do that together. And it's been a new beginning for you too because now uh, after this, uh, after being diagnosed, you now work with uh, Susan G. Komen. I did, I'm very excited to say that I'm the race coordinator for the Race for the Cure on September 24th this year. And it's um, really, it was a great way just to like focus my energy at mm -hmm. the perfect time, finishing up my treatments and now what can I do to make a difference? And you get around, four, we have to wrap things up here, but you get around 14,000 pre-registered, but we yes. want to get that number a lot higher this year. I would love to get that number. Yeah, and that's our mission here at Fox 19, Think Pink. And we want you, Cincinnati, to think pink with us on the 19th of every month as we continue through the summer leading up to September 24th. Great American Ballpark, it all kicks off. It is the race for the cure. More information, fox19.com. Let's get a team together and a work for awareness and treatment. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Appreciate Thanks for it. Having me. Thanks for stopping by. 952 right now. When we come back, we're heading to Erlanger to talk to a member of our mom as our Think Pink special edition of the News Extra continues.